was watching my favorite movie quote. I saw the TV commercial. Asked us to eat instant noodles, chips, and drink milk powder to develop our body and muscles. Do they love us? Are they telling the truth? I don't think so. Because we have our own traditional Sri Lankan meals which helps us to develop sleeping patterns, energy levels, and increasing our general health. Sri Lanka is home to a variety of food with natural nutrients such as fresh fruits, vegetables, green leaves, grains, fish and yams, and a different variety of raw rice like kurulutuda, kaluhineti and porridge. However, a person has a heavy dependence with genetically modified and junk food. Moreover, media's portrayal of this junk food appears more attractive, easier and more nutritious than natural food. This creates an urge to consume which results in addiction. Now I'll explain about our traditional Sri Lankan meals which helps us to protect ourselves. What do you get in traditional Sri Lankan meals? Fermenting food, raw food and plenty of super food like jackfruit. Fermenting food include mikiri, amultial, jari and pickles. Before refrigeration, we use fermentation to save our food from spoiling. Fermentation helps good gut microbes to develop. These microbes have longevity. Those practices are dying now because our generator is more prone to disease. Do you know the latest food trend in the world? Edible flowers. But it was nothing new to us in Sri Lanka. We have been eating Katuru Mirungamal for ages and near Katuru Kiribat. It's our time to take our traditional Sri Lankan meals to the world. Traditional Sri Lankan meals are more vegetarian dishes, less meat or no meat at all. Do you know the raising livestock generate 14% of global greenhouse gas? emission that's very bad for the environment. The switching to traditional Sri Lankan meals are not only for good for our gut microbes, also a good way to reduce global warming too. It's high time to take our traditional Sri Lankan meals to the world. I want.